All right, we're moving on to habit five of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, written by Stephen Covey. Now, if you've ever been in a conversation with someone, or someone has started talking to you, you've probably done one of four things. And the first is ignoring them. And this will generally frustrate them. Just outright not listening to what they're saying. You should try to avoid doing this. The second is pretending. Now this would be like, you're still ignoring them, but at least you're reacting a little bit. You're saying, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Like on a phone call, some people do this. You should try to avoid this action as well. The third is selective hearing. And this would be like, if uh, one of your friends says, Hey, I, I want to I wanna go out to the mall and get a dress for a new promotion so that I can look better and try to make more money. And then all you hear is, you just wanted to go to the mall and spend the money. And you should try to avoid selective hearing because although the person may be saying something, you are only hearing what you want to hear. And the fourth is attentive listening. And this is very interesting. Let's say that um, someone is going to talk about killing some kittens. Now, not very many people want, obviously, not don't want to engage in this activity. But they are very... Uh, they when they speak about it, they speak out about it in a really high tone, and they're excited and yeah, we're gonna kill some kittens. And what you're doing is you're attentive listening. You're not actually listening to the words. You're not understanding what they're saying. You're just getting pumped up with them. And this is the fourth one that you need to try to avoid. Instead, Stephen Covey says that you should learn to get better at emphatic listening. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with. You should be able to see through their eyes the situation that they see. You should be able to understand the situation as well as they understand it. He says that when people are telling us stuff like this, we like to also do one of four things. We like to evaluate it, which an example of this would be like, yeah, I agree with this situation, or no, I don't agree with this situation. You should not do that. He also says that we probe, which would this, this would be asking questions. And usually these questions are loaded already with the answer in them, such as, you want to do what? The third is not to advise. We should try not to advise someone when we are emphatically listening to them. This An example of this would be like, well, I think you should, or in my opinion you should, don't do this. And the fourth is interpreting. And this would be looking through the situation at your own in your own glasses. Through your own uh through your own lenses of paradigm. And he says instead what we should do is put on the other person's glasses of paradigm and see it through their eyes. And when you do this, you create more win-win situations because you find out and you understand the person better and you want to see and you look and you find what they consider a win as opposed to what you consider a win. And this is the fifth habit of the seven habits of highly effective people, which is to seek first to understand, then to be understood. You should try to understand the first person before trying to have them understand how you see it. He says first, we should learn how to listen emphatically. Second, we should diagnose before we prescribe, which is basically we should understand the person better before we try to give them advice. And the third is, this will help you create more win-win situations. I hope you like this video, and if you liked it, subscribe for more.